morning students today we will start with the chapter number 10 measurement and in this chapter we will learn to convert one unit into another unit today we will go through some of the basic things which will help you throughout the chapter so let's start these are some of the units in which length is measured out of these units the biggest one is kilometer and this is represented as km then afterwards hectometer that is hm then decameter this is dam then meter represented by m decimeter this is dm centimeter that is cm and millimeter is the smallest one that is mm these are some of the units out of these unit meter is the standard unit to measure the length this is the standard unit when we are going from right side to left side that means right side is millimeter left side is kilometer when we are going moving back then each and every unit should be divided by 10 like if we want to convert millimeter to centimeter you have to divide by 10 centimeter to decimeter divide by 10 in this way if you are moving right to left then divide by 10 and if you are moving from left to right means bigger unit to smaller unit then we have to multiply it by 10 each and every unit is 10 times smaller than the bigger unit so when we are moving from kilometer to hectometer multiplied by 10 hectometer to decameter <coughs> multiplied by 10 in this way if you are moving from left side to right side or we may say bigger unit to smaller unit then multiplied by 10 and if you are moving from smaller two bigger then divide by 10 this is the basic rule to convert the unit from one to another this is a standard unit if we want to convert meter to decameter multiplied by 10 1 meter to hectometer then multiplied by 100 because there is two skip meter to decameter and decameter to hectometer 10 into 10 that is 100 so if we want to convert meter to hectometer then multiply sorry divide by 100 meter to kilometer means we are skipping 1 2 and 3 three skips that means 10 10 into 10 10 into 10 100 and 100 into 10 is 1000 so converting meter to kilometer is divide by 1000 in the same way if we are going from here to here meter to decimeter from right left to right then multiplied by 10 meter to centimeter then multiplied by 100 one skip and two skip 10 into 10 is 100 meter to millimeter then multiplied by 1000 so whenever we are converting from a smaller unit to bigger unit divide and if we are going from bigger unit to smaller unit then we have to multiply the same rule is applicable on the mass also when we are weighing something measuring the weight of something then these are some of the basic units first one is kilogram then hectogram decagram gram decigram centigram and milligram this is the standard unit gram is the standard unit so when we are moving from kilogram to hectogram multiplied by 10 hectogram to decagram multiplied by 10 decagram to gram multiplied by 10 in this way if we are moving one one skip then multiplied by 10 and if we are moving from right or to left or smaller to bigger then we have to divide by 10 so 
just take an example if we want to convert kilogram to gram so how many skips we take one two three skip that means multiplied by 1000 10 into 10 into 10 that is multiplied by 1000 if we want to convert kilogram to decigram then 10 into 10 into 10 into 10 that means multiplied by 10000 एक स्किप लेने पे आप सिर्फ मल्टीप्लाइड बाय टेन करेंगे और आप यहां से यहां जाएंगे तो कितनी बार टेन मल्टीप्लाई हो रहा है उसको आप कैलकुलेट करके उसी से मल्टीप्लाई करेंगे नाउ दीज आर द यूनिट फॉर मास नाउ वी विल लर्न सम ऑफ द यूनिट विच विल मेजर कैपेसिटी कैपेसिटी मीन्स द वॉल्यूम आप किसी भी चीज को लाइक ऑयल है वॉटर है मिल्क है All these things you are measuring in liter. So liquid things measured in liter. <coughs> so here I just see this is the biggest unit that is kiloliter, then hectoliter, decaliter, liter, deciliter, centiliter, and milliliter. Milliliter is the smallest one. So when we are moving. from here to here then multiply and when we are moving from here to here then divide so this is the table kiloliter to hectoliter multiplied by 10 hectoliter to decaliter multiplied by 10 decaliter to liter again multiplied by 10 in this way when we are moving one one skip every time you have to multiply it by 10 and if we are moving from this side that means This is the right side, right to left, then divide by ten. अब यहाँ से आपको यहाँ convert करना है kiloliter to deciliter. If we want to convert this, then how many times you will multiply ten into ten into ten into ten? That means ten tens are hundred, hundred tens are thousand, thousand tens are ten thousand. तो किलोलीटर से डेसीलीटर में लाने के लिए आपको मल्टीप्लाइड बाय थाउजेंड करना होगा नाउ टेक वन मोर एग्जांपल। इफ वी वांट टू कन्वर्ट सेंटीलीटर टू लीटर सेंटीलीटर टू लीटर अब यहां से यहां हम राइट टू लेफ्ट जा रहे हैं हाउ मेनी स्किप्स वी टेक वन स्किप टू स्किप सो दिस इज डिवाइड बाय हंड्रेड ऑलवेज रिमेम्बर left to right multiply and right to left always divide today's work is to learn all these three tables properly then the chapter we will start in the next class thank you